Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm going to share with you a strategy that I use almost every day. And it's based around science and it's available to everyone to help to fight against COVID. And it's about nitric oxide. A lot of people don't even understand what this is. And I'd recently done a presentation on this because it was such an important point. Uh, nitric oxide, it's a versatile molecule. It maintains a healthy heart, fights infection, has a positive impact on memory and learning. This is an incredible molecule and it's a gas. This is what's unusual about it. And it's directly relevant in the context of what we have going on around us with regards to COVID. Because nitric oxide acts almost as a bubble. I've, I've tried to put it together in a way. It, there's this protective bubble. You can see me in this bubble. This is what I'm trying to put across. And with nitric oxide, it almost ends up with a protective uh, bubble around you that reduces, I can't say that it absolutely stops, but reduces the risk of infection. This is, this is really important now because of the way how COVID is circulating. These variants are coming faster and faster and everybody needs to utilize every single strategy they can to reduce risk. So here is what I need you to do. Very simple things. There are many people who listen to me, but they don't click on the subscribe button. Please start with that. If you can't see the subscribe button, for some reason it's hidden on many of my videos, look at the bottom right and you will see a bell. Click on it and you can subscribe. The second thing I'm going to want you to do is that because this is so important, I've put together a whole ebook on it. And what you will then do is use the link in the description and you're going to come to this landing page here. And when you join our newsletter, um, this is how you will get access to the free ebook. So the whole purpose is that we want you to join us. This is about a health revolution. And in it, you'll get this free ebook to take a look at what's happening in terms of nitric oxide. Additionally, as time goes by, once you've registered, you will also get a link to be able to see my course at a significantly discounted rate. This is the course that I did some time ago, looking at nitric oxide and explaining the science around it. It has a number of modules, including questions and answers, explaining how it neutralizes the spike protein, this is very important information. So the whole point is that I want to convert people from just simple listeners to actively being involved in what we're trying to do, but we need to know who you are. So remember, first subscribe, second join the newsletter, and it allows us to be able to interact with you in other ways. So when it comes to this question about nitric oxide, it is a big topic because the challenge that we have now is how do we protect the body against a virus breaking through mucosal immunity? Because what happens is that once you have a viral infection, if it can't get past your mucosal immune layer, it's like the skin inside your airways. Uh, it's the same way that you could be exposed to a toxic chemical on your skin, but it doesn't affect you because the skin protects you. So in the same way, the mucosal layer, a very sophisticated immune system, fights to protect you from getting a virus getting into your bloodstream. So systemic um, protection immunity is different from mucosal immunity. And nitric oxide is about improving that mucosal immunity and trying to see if we can get it to therefore work a lot better. Critical part of the things that we can do. It is very versatile. As I said, this is a gas. It functions in multiple ways. Technically, 
we influence by influencing nitric oxide. That's how Viagra works with improved sexual function. This is where you get erections from. Um, it reduces platelet clotting. Microclotting is occurring a lot in terms of people who have long COVID type symptoms. It reduces inflammation. It can help with wound healing. It helps with increasing neurotransmission. This is an incredible molecule that you all have access to simply by humming. That was the basis of the book that we did, Humming Heroes. What I intend intended and intend to do is that we got to number one on Amazon, but we probably haven't been pushing it as much as we can. So we've fallen down the rankings. But the purpose of the book was to try and take this very complex concept about nitric oxide being protective and acting like a bubble in the context of your um, of the body and protecting against infection, reducing the risk of it. That's why this book was written. Because if you can reduce the risk of infection, it then reduces the chances for what I anticipate is going to happen next, which is the storm. Spike triggered autoimmune response mechanism. That's the next thing that if you're interested in, we're doing a webinar next week, Thursday. This is going to become a white paper. Um, because I think it is that important. It needs to get out there. People can look at it, challenge it. I don't mind. But the infection, once spike protein gets into your systemic circulation, the risk of serious inflammation increases, especially if you have had it before. So everything that I'm doing is about how do we reduce the risk of this infection occurring? One of the things that I've highlighted in the course is the fact that nitric oxide here is able to con um, is able to influence the spike protein and cause it to therefore be attached to another uh, protein here and get reduced and get removed from the body. All of these things are absolutely critical for us to understand. And the most important thing that a lot of people don't know is about the sinuses. So this is the bit that is the secret. So when we look at the sinuses here, and I've shown you, this is again part of the course. So I'm just skipping through some of the, um, some of the slides. But when we look at the sinuses here, so this is your head and you have a number of sinuses. This is here. This is the maxillary sinus. It's a cheek one, so it's right under the, the cheekbone. Then you have your ethmoidal sinuses here. So they are just behind the eyes and between the nose bridge. Up here, you have the frontal sinus. That's just above the eyebrows. And this is what it looks like from the side profile. And one of the very important sinuses is located deep inside the skull, right in the center of the brain, called the sphenoid sinus. Why am I highlighting this? What happens is that the Omicron variants, separate from the original ones, not only do they infect the nasal passages, but they have a strong predilection for infecting these sinuses. So this is why a lot of people can't seem to get rid of the virus. Because instead of just being in the nasopharyngeal parts, which is, would be down here in the throat, the virus has embedded itself in the sinuses. This is such an important point, And very few people understand that this is one of the characteristics of Omicron. It's far more efficient at infecting the sinuses. And if the immune system is affected is not efficient in the sinuses, it will struggle to get rid of it. And this is why you will find some people have more significant sinus infections after they have been exposed and they may have long-term sinus issues. If they do, there's a strong chance that they haven't properly completely cleared the virus. This is important. And so this is why I'm emphasizing this point around what it is that we need to do. Just by humming, you increase the amount of nitric oxide that is in the sinuses. It's a simple 
act. And to be frank with you, what I found interesting is when I looked at many religions, they oftentimes have chanting, technically humming, as part of their routine thing. This seems to be a very, very important strategy. So what I had put together was this ebook here. This is what you will get, nitric oxide and the sinuses, uh, in collaboration with Lumientia here. So they've helped with lots of the diagrams and the images. It's not a long book. It's only about 30 pages, lovely images, but it's breaking this down into those points about the sinuses. Let me just get this full screen for you. And you can see all of the sections here explaining what's happening, the anatomy of the sinuses, the images there, the role of nitric oxide, the relevance to the sphenoid sinus, um, and the characteristics and some of the things you can do and how you actually go through the process of trying to boost your nitric oxide production. This is free information. All I want from you is you to share your email address and join us in this revolution because this information is vital for you to understand and for you to pass on to other people as well. So remember, it's still available. It will be available here. And as long as you sign up right in that link, click on it, you can just fill in your email address and you will get our newsletter. And remember, this is not just a standard newsletter. Look at these testimonials. I'm not a scientist, but I'm in awe of Dr. McMillan's work to inform us. I've learned so much and want to convey thanks and huge gratitude. The Vision Med newsletter is surpassing established medical sites for reliable new information on diseases and treatments that are important. We are so appreciative of the people who have done these testimonials. The point being is that there is no cost to you to be part of this. We want to create a movement. There's so much information that needs to be shared, broken down into bits that are easily digestible. That's what I'm trying to do. And one of them here is nitric oxide. I need people to pass this information on. I need you to grasp it. I need you to be able to share it to families and friends. It's so simple. Just every time you remember, just start humming. It will increase the nitric oxide in your sinuses by up to 1,500% just by regularly doing humming. And as I remind you, these sinuses are the most vulnerable for Omicron infection. And for people who have this ongoing infective process and inflammatory process, especially in the sphenoid sinus here, this is what I think is driving a lot of the neurological pathways that people are presenting with. It's all tied together. And we need to reduce the risk, not just of simple infection, but infection breaking through the mucosal barrier to then cause this kind of autoimmune response mechanism that can present in a multitude of ways, heart problems, lung problems, kidney problems, neurological problems. So this is absolutely critical. It's easy to do. Everybody can participate. And eventually I'll be bringing back Humming Heroes because it's in a beautiful story format to help people to understand it and take the story to others. I want this to become viral. I want it to become such an important part of what everybody does that working together the population on its own can impact on the transmission and the circulation of this virus. We have to do everything we can. We have to make sure we have tried and done all the simple things that we have available. Because at this point, the new variants that are coming are breaking through vaccine protection. Therefore, vaccinated people are getting infected over and over. And based on the sinus point, they're not getting rid of the infection. It means, therefore, that everybody is being exposed all the time. And it, it presents, I find I sometimes just get headaches randomly, and I wonder if it's whether or not another bit of exposure. So we need that protective bubble in terms of our sinuses. So whenever I have that, I immediately start humming just because I understand the science. And that bubble reduces the longer-term risk. It doesn't take it away but every step that you take can make a difference in the long term. So thank you very much for listening. 
Remember the things you have to do. The first thing, you need to click subscribe. If you don't see the subscribe button below in the description, look right here on the side and you will find a bell, click on it. Secondly, what you have to do is you look in the description and once you've gone in the description, you click on the link and you will join our newsletter. Once you have done that, we will then be able to get more information to you. And critically, when you do join it, you will get access to The Power of No, a small ebook giving you information free of charge that will help you better understand the science around COVID-19. Thank you very much for listening and have a great evening.